Hello everybody, you are watching me in Vlog. I recorded myself in Vlog using the Lumix S5, awesome camera. And here I am, color graded. Looks much better. So I recorded myself in Vlog. Vlog is something that I'm going to be using a lot more. Perhaps almost exclusively. It is amazing. It can be a bit tricky. You have to really watch your exposure when you're recording in Vlog. Because if it's not exposed properly, you can get a lot of noise in the shadows. You can have your highlights clipping too much. So you have to set your vector scopes and your waveforms properly. Well, you have to watch them properly. You have to make your adjustments according to those scopes. So there's zebra stripes. Zebra stripes are amazing. They're built in to the Lumix S5. I set my zebra stripes, well, for skin tones. I actually, the video that you're watching now, I actually recorded a video before this one, and I had my zebra stripes for the skin tones set to 70%. And when I put it on my computer, it just didn't look right. And I was thinking, you know, it's not clipping, but it just looks like it's way overexposed. You know, using the Lumix natural profile, even the HLG profile, an IRE of 70% looks fine for skin tones, I find, for Caucasian skin tone. But with Vlog, it looks like it's blown out and overexposed. So I went back, I did some research, and then I went back, like I'm doing now, and I have the IRE set to 55%. So what I do is I, I sit down and I adjust my exposure until I actually see the zebra stripes on my skin. Once I see the zebra stripes on my skin, then I know that, okay, I'm at IRE 55%, and then I, I dial the light back a bit, adjust the camera settings, just until those zebra stripes are barely visible or in, just until they disappear. And then I know, okay, skin tones are gonna look good. So Vlog is awesome. You get extra stops of dynamic range. There's more detail in the shadows, more detail in the highlights. There's a lot more flexibility for post-production. Now the LUT that I'm using on this is the S1 Alex from Emotive Color. Emotive Color, they have this awesome LUT. A lot of people have the GH Alex, the S1 Alex. These LUTs, they simulate the look of an airy Alexa camera. The colors have very nice pastel colors. The skin tones look look awesome. They look accurate. They look cinematic. There's something about the look of the Aerie Alexa camera that people aspire to achieve in their workflow. And these LUTs make that a lot easier. But of course you have to have your footage exposed properly to begin with. But even if it isn't, these LUTs, perhaps they'll look better than most other LUTs that are out there. And right now, I actually did compare this LUT to some of the other LUTs. A lot of the, the uh, free LUTs, like, like Panasonic's free LUT, their regular Vlog LUT, Vlog Turek 709 LUT, or whatever it's called. And I mean, I mean, that's certainly an okay LUT, but there's something about this LUT here. I find that there's not really much else to do once this LUT is applied. So I highly recommend this LUT. Apparently it has good highlight roll off. So this, these GH or S1 Alex LUTs, they actually come with a PDF and it gives some steps that you can go through in Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve. I use Final Cut Pro and you follow those steps and you can get a very good look. So if you have your white balance set correctly and your exposure is set correctly in camera, you can take this log footage, bring it into your Final Cut Pro or whatever that you're using, and apply the LUT. I purchased the Daylight LUT because I use 
Kelvin 5600 a lot. But some people say they don't really notice much of a difference between the daylight and the tungsten one. So just buy one of the LUTs, apply it to your footage, and you'll have a good foundation to work with. Let me know what profile that you guys use. And vlog looks amazing. My name is Justin Tobin, and thank you for watching.